Okay, here's a look at some of the damage across the area we're seeing this morning. Heavy rain causing a rock slide in West Lynn. This was yesterday afternoon. Police say this large boulder ended up on Willamette Falls Drive near Sunset Avenue. Well, as we've been reporting all morning, multiple roads, Interstate 84 shut down from landslides. And there is a flash flood warning in Dodson, as Elise has been telling us, near I-84. Joining us now is engineering geologist Bill Burns from the Oregon Department of Geology and Mineral Industries. Good morning to you. Good morning. Yeah, thanks for being here. Uh, you know, we did mention that flash flooding alert. Uh, if there is a flash flood warning, you know, what should people do and how dangerous can it get? And and is it still dangerous without the rain right now? Yeah, um, if there is an alert like that, people should really consider evacuating. This is exactly what we were uh, very concerned about happening. Um, especially in these uh, areas that were recently burned. This area along I-84 was part of the Eagle Creek fire that happened in 2017. And now we're seeing some of those uh, post-fire effects. You know, it's interesting. We just saw some of those trails reopen this month after being closed uh, for several years out in the Eagle Creek area. So how long is there a potential threat here of landslide, even after the rain has stopped? When do you really know that the ground is stable again? Yeah, that's a great question. In fact, that's exactly what we're doing. Some very intensive research in Western Oregon right now uh, to try and figure out. Um, because it's not just the gorge that we had the fires, right? Uh, just last year, we had these extensive fires throughout the Cascades. And so um, we think that this is going to last for perhaps a decade or more, uh, this heightened uh, landslide concern. Wow. And, and, you know, we mentioned that it, it's stopped raining for now, but the landslide concern throughout the day and the week sounds like it's still uh, pretty high as far as they, they can still happen. That's right. Um, these, these things sometimes take time for the soil to absorb all this water and then um, for landslides to happen. So the concern is still very high right now. So we're looking at the process here of, of clearing off an area like I-84, uh, but we talked with ODOT earlier today and crews, you know, say that the challenge isn't just to clear the debris off the road, it's to make sure that, that the area is stable, that we're not going to see a future landslide. So how exactly can you tell if an area is safe? What are they going to be looking for out there today? Well, one of the main things is to watch the weather. And, and, and hope that this rain, uh, this uh, specific rain from this atmospheric river uh, stops um, because that is one of the main triggers uh, for landslides. All right, well, engineering geologist Bill Burns, thank you so much for joining us and, and giving us some insight into these uh, landslides and what we can expect in the coming weeks.